Hey everyone, another fun quick tutorial. So I thought, yes, this is so simple. It's just a box and little envelopes. And of course I have a new measurement for you guys, but um, I just thought this would be a fun idea to do for summer. Like just to have almost like an advent ordeal. Like you could have these little envelopes in this box. Like, you know, you can make like 10 of them and throughout the summer, just random nights or every weekend, you can pick um, one of your envelopes and inside it'll have an activity for you to do. Um, some activities I thought that I would put in mine would be like um, look at the constellations because my son um, loves space. Um, Another one could be like a s'mores night, um, just something simple, even like a Pokemon walk, you know, the kids love that. So I just thought this would be really fun. And yes, I made one with the uh, acetate and it came out so cute. And I'm gonna do it with regular paper because I find it very finicky to uh, work with this on camera. I want you guys to be able to see it. And it's hard to see vellum, you know, the line, but it came out so pretty and you could just put, if you wanna do this for a swap, um, that would be awesome. You could put sequins in there. Um, little, I seen a lot of you making the embellishment books. So this would be a really beautiful way to display your embellishments um, inside those books, which I am thinking of something to make for embellishment books for um, you guys who do that. And I am obsessed with them. I'm not good at embellishments like that. Either I'm not good at it or I don't have the patience. But um, <laughs> these were the Lorelei tags I used and... Um, they fit perfectly and that's how I kind of got my measurement. And I did fold my envelopes a little different. I put this in the front. Usually I like to keep it in the back, but um, for this one I put it in the front. So I just cut it just a little bit different, but you could see all the little envelopes that I made. I love this one. It's like um, like an eggshell. It reminds me of like an eggshell blue. I'm pretty sure that was her intention when she made it, but I'm totally obsessed with this line and I'm going to use every scrap. And this bow right here, by the way, she has a um, Lorelei or she has a bow dye, but this one is actually from my Coco Reno. So we'll go ahead and get started on this sweet little box. So easy. All you're going to do is take your six by six paper. And today I'm using Paige Evans paper, just some extras that I had. Okay. And we're going to score it. I always forget my score too. I, there's never a time I don't go like this in front of the camera. So sorry. But um, <laughs> we're going to score it at one and a half inch all the way around four times. So that'll give us that deep box. And if you want to make it higher, go for number two. If you want to make it lower, go further. But I feel like this is a perfect size for these envelopes. Okay, so it's going to look like that. So one, two, three, four. And just cut the lines, the short lines. We're just gonna cut these one, two, and fold them up. So I cut those and I'm just gonna flip it to the other side. So that's here. Okay. Do our creases, which is too easy. These boxes, I'm sure we can all do these with our eyes closed by now if you're on my channel often. <laughs> boxes and envelopes. Okay, and some people even cut those down, but I'm just going to go ahead and glue it. Oh, and that's just in case of those who might not know what haven't done a box. It's gonna look like that, and we're gonna fold it all in. I'm just gonna push it up. It's another gloomy day here in Atlanta. It's just been like a gloomy summer. I mean, can't go anywhere. I mean, I guess you could, but we don't want to. I'm doing like small little trips just to get us out of the house, like nature walks and things like that. Okay, so there's our box and it's a nice little size. I thought it was just a good size for this project specifically. Okay, so next we're gonna take a paper that sized six inches by um, five and a quarter. And I have that paper right here. And 
we're gonna go ahead and put it at the thing. So it's gonna be at my five and a quarter line. So at the five and a quarter inch mark, we're gonna score it a half an inch and four and a half inches. I actually like to do the lid first and I didn't. So when I turn it, that's gonna be your lid side. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn it to a six inch and half an inch we're gonna score that and three and a quarter. Oh, I did do the lid first. I was so confused for a second. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, so I do it this way. So um, actually for you guys, I'm gonna turn it. So we're just gonna snip this and this. So this is gonna be our lid right here. That, so that little corner you're chomping off, that's gonna be your lid. I'm just going to do this and I'm going to cut off the bottom and I'm leaving the bottom on this one because that's the side I'm going to fold up with it so it's going to really look just like that and now I'm going to go in the side and just cut these two off these two rectangles And depending which way you lay your paper down, it might be on this side, and that's fine. Okay, so it's going to look like this. So your lid and this part should be on one page. Okay, and at this point is when I corner chopped everything. Sorry, you guys know I had to do it at least one more time. I'm just going to corner chomp this. And you might wanna actually do all your folds because sometimes I feel like it's easier to um, corner chomp it when some of these are folded in. So kind of like this. Oh man, I did a really terrible job on that, you see that? So I'm just going to go ahead and fold it down. I'm going to put this inside because I don't want that showing. So just like this and I'm going to fold this. That's the glue and the top is going to be our top. So I'm just going to um, fold this for now. Oops. Stay on. I'm gonna use a half inch circle for this one. I feel like a half inch was pretty good for this size. Just using some scraps. And I have to lean over again. I put this little thing I got from Michaels to help me like with my tools and stuff and it's really probably on the wrong side but I feel like that's I have something else on the other side of my desk that I use for my orders and stuff on Etsy, and I feel like um, I need it on that side. What I might do is put that on top of it, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, so I just made a little hole, and I'm just gonna stick them right in there. Trying to find a color that's in pages. Um, little line here. And then for this bottom one, yes, I did do two. You don't have to. Oh, why is it like that? I guess it's Brad. So, um, where is my pencil? For this bottom one right here, I'm just going to go ahead and just mark it. with a pencil because I don't have, you know, the punch to go in. So I'm just going to use a tool and just go 
This is just my We Are Memory thing. I'm just going to stick a hole in there. And get another punch. These brights are going to last me forever. I got these at Hobby Lobby, I think, for 50% um, off. These ones. But there's so many. Oh my goodness. I mean, you see how often I use brads. I mean, they, I haven't even put a dent in it. I think it was like $10 or actually $7. I can't remember how much they were. I think it was $14.99. I used a 40% off coupon. So I paid like a little over $7 for it. So there is that. And it's a string. You guys have seen me make so many envelopes. I don't even know if you're going to make it this far in the video. Because like, yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> but maybe there's someone new watching. So I went, when I logged into Instagram this morning, I saw I had 15,000 followers now. I think that was so exciting. I like ran and told my husband. He's like, cool, I guess. <laughs> He has no idea what I'm doing. He's just not that impressed, I don't think. <laughs> I'm like 15,000 of us. It's amazing. Thanks, you guys, really. Okay, so. And there we go. So it's going to fit perfectly in there, and that's it. And all you're gonna do is fill it up and I fill it up. And when you use like the um, acetate, it's gonna be a little bit thicker. And once you have all these brads, it's gonna like fill up faster. But as you can see, I didn't fill mine up yet. I just kind of worked on this just so I can take some pictures and upload this. But that is it. I thought it was just a fun, cute idea. You can do this for like an advent, for Christmas and all that. It's just a fun idea for anything really. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much.